Hello everyone, Attack Power here with my next round in the Steel Division 2 League Season 10. Let's dive right in. So I'm here on Bo Burr against the man himself, Hippocras. And truthfully, when you're when you're up in Division 2, everyone's the man himself because they're all super good. <laughs> so he is playing 4th Alpina Monterosa on Vanguard Income. And I am on 8th Cavari Putata on Balanced. All right, so I'm I'm happy with side map on this. I think this map's actually somewhat equal in terms of map size. You can both sides have very realistic uh, grabs. I, I didn't want to really be on the blue side because I didn't want to have to fight over this hill where I think his infantry and stuff will be very dominant. So I'm actually not going to make a push over. Here. This is very common to make a push here. Uh, I am not going to. I'm still going to put some defenses. I'm very concerned. So Hippocrates is really well known for like like cheesy play, uh, doing like super cheese things at the beginning of games and stuff. Um, at least the last time I checked. So I am very, I'm very concerned about like a, like a, uh, auto car, like spam rush, he, not horses, but he's got the blindas and stuff. He's got a lot of them, like a ton. Um, so I'm just, I need, I'm trying to be prepared for that. Not probability, but very real possibility. Um, so that I'm not completely punched out of this game right off the bat, which is obviously what he's going for, right? He wants to win this fast. Nice thing is, though, with 8th eight, eight Cav, I have plenty of anti-light armor stuff to work with. So I don't think I should be short on ways to deal with a Blinda spam. But I still need to be prepared for it nonetheless. And then the secondary... Big issue with his division. Well, the big issue against his division. There's two. There's really three big things I'm concerned about. A is that that Blinda spam. B is Artie spam. So he's got all. He's got tons and tons of light, super like super good light Italian artillery, which with his vanguard income he can just deploy really early and try to squeeze me out. Like just bomb the crap only out of me right off the bat. So that would suck. And. Um, the third thing is his Pianiti. So his CQC infantry are the best in the game. Uh, hands down, no question. The best CQC infantry in the game. They're a combo of grenade and, you know, grenade and flamer, which is really disgusting. So I do not want to fight him at CQC. There, I have no desire whatsoever to rumble with him in close combat. So I have to do kind of everything I can to avoid getting into lots of close combat because while 8th infantry are really solid, they are not beating that stuff. I can tell you that right now. So I actually think, yeah, yeah, it'd be smarter if I deploy this pack 3 a little bit further forward just so I can actually see all the way down this hill as he's flying up here. Uh, this flag will definitely be under a little trouble and I also don't want to leave this totally wide open could come to bite me in the butt. I mean, I'm just expecting, like, a surge everywhere. He's going to have 300 points more than me. And uh, on top of that, all his stuff is just cheap as dirt. Uh, the the Monterosa being a really cheap division, mostly 20-point infantry, um, a, a, a bajillion light tanks, like, all bajillion light tanks. So, yeah, I'm, he's going to have a lot of stuff on the map. That I am quite sure of. So I think a nice little side shot here, and I can back it up whenever I need to if he pushes too hard for me to stop. Double machine gun. Yeah, I definitely need some sort of AT here as well. Yeah, probably there would be good. Using these Bredas because they're fast firing rate, I can definitely uh, lay down a good bit of fire and hopefully stop any super tough pushes. I think if I just block off every single bridge with... A good bit of AT. I should be an okay spot. And I think one more. I know this is a lot of AT, but I am really concerned about just like a full on, like, giga spam of blindas and stuff. If I don't have this much stuff, I'm not sure I'll be able to stop it. Let's 
Now the issue is the one spot I can't really straight up stop from crossing is right here. Not a lot I can do to stop this point of egress. So I'm going to send a Tehran 2 over here. Again, I do not want to rumble. I just don't want to rumble with his stinking CQC stuff at all. No desire to get into tight fights with that. Like, I'm not even going to... I'm going to deploy some troops here, and if he walks through, big whoop, I'll stop him as he walks through. I put a lot into AT, and I don't have... Much infantry, a little concerning. Let's put him there. These transports are really slow. I could try to push for this, but I don't know if it's worth it. Could just be. Pissing units away, trying to get in there. Because he's got so much light armor. Like, if I just send this AB Horshin, it's going to get insta wrecked. I think some Karadashi Moto. These positions here. I am going very light on, like, infantry, which is odd for me. My actually other big concern is not having any AA at the beginning. The Arietta, like, ground attack bomber. The thing is, though, I've called in, like, two pieces of AT at basically every single choke point. So, like, even if he bombs one, I should have another. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's got to attack me. Yay, balanced. He, he's got to come to me, so... I'm in no particular rush. We'll see how much air we see at the beginning. If he's got tons of air, then of course my first call-ins will be, you know, Bofors or Vickers. Either being okay. You know, probably maybe like a Vickers over here. Probably be my call fight for A on this side. Uh, cover that hill off some more. Or I could just put it here. Covers that whole hill off then. In this spot too. That'd be pretty good. Uh, so probably Vickers like in this position. And then uh, so covers my entire left side. And then probably Beaufort, uh, Hotchkiss over here. A little tighter area. Easier to cover with Hotchkiss. Vickers. Vickers not being great either way. But I'm hoping it should be able to stop like a Focke Wolf. Because he's got the Focke Wolves but they're bad resilient. So... Should take relatively good damage. I'm worried about right here. This is this is my most concerning spot. Uh, this forest, no, but this area here, of course, with this flag. If he gets in here and really digs himself in, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble just dragging him out. But the nice thing is, in this matchup, my Tehran should do all right. My Zirni should do fabulous if I can use them right, which is always the tough part, using them right. Um, a Zirni over here, of course, could be really strong. But I need AT at the beginning. There's no, like... He only has JU-87 tank busters, like with the with the gun pods. Not the clusters, so... There's no Napalm or Nebelwerfers or anything to, like, hit my reinforcement roads at the beginning. So I don't have to worry about that. Again, just really concerned about like a giga press somewhere with like a billion auto cars. Two AT guns should stop a lot, but it's not going to stop like 10 auto cars running at me in a single location. And the thing is, that's like actually very realistic for his deck because he's got a card of, of ABU sores in the recon, he's got a card of ABU sores in the tank. He's got the recon flax. He's got the light tanks. He, it's just a lot. So he, if he puts them all in A, if he puts all the auto cars in A, he's got 14. And six of those are only 15 points. 
So even calling in all six is cost him 90 points. It's like, that's not that much. <laughs> that's not, that's not a big investment at all. It cost me 90 points to bring in two pieces of AT to stop that, to stop, block up one bridge. So, yeah, it should be, at range, my infantry should absolutely dominate. I mean, the only issue is if he just overwhelms me. Again, they're only 20 points. So, you know, one Karadashi Moto can be 100% overwhelmed by two to three Alpinis. That's super realistic um, for him. Eventually, Zirni here to cut off this hill, because that's obviously a main place of support. One here as well could work as two. Cut all that off. Um, Zirni over here, very possible. But again, I can't really call in Zirnis until I have AA cover. Because otherwise he's going to call in the JU-87. He's just going to insta-rip those. I'm hoping the Kadarashi, once I can get more out, will help secure long ranges here. I, I feel good with this division up against Montero. And he picked second. I picked first. He picked second. We had basically every strong division in the game. Band, 5th Cav, 6th uh, uh, Corporal, 17th SS, Tatra, 2nd Indian, 8th uh, Indian, even 8th Indian, um, uh, you know, Task 7th um, Mac, 43rd Reserve, uh, um, trying to think of everything, 26th Pander, 26th Strelke, with 20 bands, there's a lot now, uh, 84 Strelke, 97 Strelke, these were banned, um... 5th SS he banned, I assume because it's me. I, I don't really know otherwise why you'd ban that division. Most people don't. Um, yeah, so there's a nice chunky list of bands. Of course. Oh, Hartnick. Oh, I forgot I have it up over here. 2nd NZ, 2nd Pancellos, 4th Volshamjaeger, uh, 358th Strelke. Um, yeah, Herman Goring. Those were, those were all the bands, in case you were wondering. Sorry, there was a little disjunct. I kind of forgot I had them up in front of me. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll see. It really kind of depends on if how his opening engagement goes and if he can make any significant pushes across the bridge. I need to trade well in this first phase, and I often do pretty well in A phase, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm feeling confident enough that I, I can hold this out. Hippocrats, of course, being a very good player, he's ranked like 50. Now, rank does not equal skill at all. There are plenty of high-ranked players who are really bad. Um... But, like, I'm ranked 34, and it takes a really long time once you get up high to rank up. So, really, him being ranked 50 just demonstrates how much more, like, hours in the game he has, which is kind of, like, hilarious how many more hours that would be. It's probably, I mean, it's it's 500 plus more hours than me, I, I think. And that's not a pre-cope. That's just, like, a, wow, that's a lot of time. And I play this a lot, so credit to him. Dedication. Dedication. If you guys are enjoying all this gameplay and stuff, especially the live stuff, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting of our Patreon and dropping a super thanks. It really helps me out. Thanks a bunch. Hopefully this will be starting soon. We also had Shachedrin. Like, so our map bands, we had um, Zabuchin, Krupa, Slitzwesk, Shachedrin, and Bober. And we basically banned down to Bober and Shachedrin, and he had the choice, and he picked Bober, which I was kind of surprised because I think Shichedra, I mean, Shichedra is a very fun map and I feel like it would be much better for what he's trying to do here. Alrighty, folks. Here we go. If he presses launch. He said ready. We all saw it. Here we go. Also, I didn't ban any of like the French division. I banned first DFL. I forgot first DFL. That was in there too. So I, I, I know uh, Colonel Koenig is like a hardcore French, you know, French division player. I guess uh, Hippocras is not, because the second Linday was open. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he'd go like CIA BG too. That one was open. The nice thing is with Monterosa, his infantry transports are dirt slow, so there's no reason he should like beat me across the bridge anywhere particular except for this point here. Uh, my horses and bredas and stuff, my bredas and stuff should definitely get to where they need to get to first. ZB's deploying. Support gun's deploying. Get off the APCR ASAP. -A 
Yep, here comes that push that I was expecting. And those are those are auto cannon cars. Yep, here it comes. This is what I was concerned about. Let's get some. Eh. This was the right choice. In a Tehran in here. Let's get a Venatori Dukata. So let's get double Tehran. Alright. Pushing right up in here. Stop that initial stuff though that I was worried about. So good. Like I said, this was exactly what I expected it to be, but I, there's no way to get there fast enough to stop that, so not much to do about it. Let's call my last turn on. Yep, I'm calling them all out early because he's going all in right here. Try to get ourselves a line of sight over there to help me out. Quick. Interesting. He's making just a straight push here. Okay. Let's not be stupid and lose anyone here. There we go. That's big. Need that. Good. Good. Let's get a journey. Let's cut this down. Alright, it's all good. We're doing pretty good here. That's bad. Alright, cut this off. Not sure what he's going for here. Oh my goodness. Ate both of those Tehran 2s alive? Okay. I'm back. So he drove an auto blinda back here? This isn't really cheese, it's just weird.
Not the range I want Kadadashi Moto to fight at, but we'll deal. I need to kill this. How did I lose the Tehran? That's bad. I just need eyes over here. Is he just like chilling out over here? Set this guy up so if he pushes hard, I can kill him. This is huge if I kill both of these. That is... All right, eliminates that armor. Let's go here. Ah. And just like an auto blind over here? Is that like what it is? Again, one on one, my unit should win pretty definitively. I definitely don't think like this is, I don't feel like this is going terrible. Oh, really? I mean, that was a pack 40. There's absolutely, that's what it was. Your job is not to shoot at infantry. I don't know how he got those all the way back there. His transports are really slow, so that's like impressive. There it is. You bounce on that. I didn't realize he pushed so hard over here, too. It's all right. Let's take a 1410 is fine. Again, it's Vanguard. It's not Maverick. Yeah, this is I'm worried about a big push here, too. So this is dead. It's fast up here. All right, B phase. Let's go here. Kadarashi Moto dead. That's fine. We're taking out the light armor. Take out enough of that, and this starts to keep getting better. Shoot. Missed. It's not surprising because he was super stressed, so I'm not like really upset about the RNG on that one. Alright, he eliminated some of those there. Let's 
go over here. Yeah, this is not where I want to be fighting these dudes. Ah, trying to turn off the APCR. Can you not miss? Like, honest to God, can you not miss, please? Couple TAC comms and we can shut this down right quick. There we go. Good. Pianiti Kaladi will lose all day against his Pianiti, but they have a better chance than not Pianiti Kaladi. Get out of there. Ah, building wasn't big enough. I got the four. I got the the pack thirty eight covering the rest of the hill. So, pull him back this way. It's all right. Fourteen ten is not enough for him. I have time to fix this. Uh oh, I just realized we're frozen. Uh oh, no, no, no. And this is like, we can't say one of us is definitively winning. I mean, he's winning technically, but like. Not enough that I'm going to say scoop. But if I disconnect, if he disconnects, I'm willing to go again. I don't have that much time, but I'm willing to go again. If I disconnect, I don't know if he'll let me back in. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, what? We got this back. That's good. I don't really want to delve into this area because Pianiti can fight at that range and do their thing. Losing on my Tehran sucks. Oh, luckily these are just Alpini recruits. You go. You cut this off. Oh. It's all good. It's all good. Yep. These guys will stop them well. Tacom's a good weapon here for me. There we go. Good. As I keep a couple here in reserve. Ow. Okay, he didn't miss. That's nice. Nice. Tacom's pulling it out here for me. That's bad. Got in that perfect position there. Now, luckily so far, ooh, luckily so far I haven't had to deal with any arty spam. Doing really well against his light armor, though.
Come on. Oh, he's missed a lot. I'm getting lucky that way. Oh. Ouch. Things if he tries to cut across into the actual area, I should be pretty safe. Gotta stop the bleeding here soon. The Shitsa here is my assault gun, so... How did I lose my TACOM? I was gonna say, I'm assuming that's what it is. Throw, please. Oh my god, these guys are nuts. Oh. Mm. Ouch, that hurt. We can stop floating so many points. Crap. Sorry, I got plenty of light AT left. Oh my god, these guys are nuts. And this is I didn't want to fight at these ranges. Let's get 60 mils. Plenty of horses now. Sheets have just got like deleted. Oh, dude, you can't miss, like, at this range. I need you to, like, not miss. There we go. This is good, though. This is going well. Remember, he still has a pretty good advantage going into this point. Are those mortars? I need a leader. 
These are Pianini in here. I'm going to have a lot of trouble. Oh, they've very much probably... Oh, no, they're not. Wow, there's a lot of troops here. Did not mean to do that. Throw. Oh, that's bad. My goodness. I think it is time to start trying to get over this bridge a little bit. Oh, okay. Crap. Stay on him. This is bad. Oh, of course, he drove right through the one spot. I don't have freaking infantry to throw AT grenades. Yeah, losing all my Tehran's here. Maybe a death sentence. Lose my arty here. Okay. What is he doing? Why? Why would you do that? Like, why, why would that happen? Oh, now I have gun depression, of course. Angle, yeah, yeah, of course. I'm gonna totally bone there. Wow. And he's still not firing. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was crap. That was some hardcore crap. Hmm. I, I can see that you have a line of sight on him. Please kill him. Oh, God. Ah! Hit him! Oh, goodness gracious! Ah! <laughs> there's no- there's no stress on him or anything! Why?! Why?! All right, now, we're gonna come up on this hill. Oh, excuse you. Are you really out of range? <laughs> oh, man. Bruh, can't get a break. Problem is, it's getting that point where even if I even it up, I'm gonna have a hard time pulling back into it. He's at the perfect angle. Make this really hard. Oh, there that goes. Bummer. Let's get the sheets in position here, though, now. Got too aggressive. Yes, got it. Yeah, you better. Just gotta stay out of range of this freaking... Whatever you call it. I got a long way to go. Only 20 minutes to do it. Let's push across. Let's do it. What what is here? <laughs> it must be a tank like hidden right behind a building. Let's hit this, there's probably something there. Wow, whatever is there is somehow really perfectly- wow! <laughs> That's what I meant! Just got so much light armor still. It's insane.
I'm actually going to call it a sheet's end just because A, it's killing power, and B, it can cover off that hill at the same time. This, he might be too close, yeah. Sick. All right, we got this back. Killed that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Let's do this. I think this is the... I think this is the hole right here. Am I still losing points? Gosh darn it. Let's start moving. I'm now looking for a full collapse of his line. That's what I need. Problem is his stuff is so cheap. It's prob it's gonna keep like he's gonna be able to keep calling in stuff. He's got MG forty two's freaking everywhere. What in the heck? Yeah, I only he might just beat me here. Won't even be the time. Oh, man. Well, wow, it was unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I really feel like I should have won that game. Really, really feel like I should have won that. That's that's disappointing. That was really disappointing. I can't even argue that it was particularly close. Like, he beat me. Like, I then needed to crawl back from, like, having no points. Uh, I think my initial plan was pretty solid. I don't think anything went particularly wrong. I just couldn't close that hole that I knew was going to happen in that spot. Um, I think even if I had poured troops into it, I'm not. I was so ill-equipped to fight him at that close range that I was. I was. I could not win that position. I think I used my Tron twos too aggressively at the beginning. And that really screwed me. Like, I killed tons of stuff. I mean, this this is like a laundry list of kills. It's just, once again, this whole, like, cheap garbage infantry just pouring in constantly. Like, we look here. I don't think... I mean, yeah, this cannon killed a whole bunch of stuff. That was annoying. But I think that was the one on the right. This 20 mil. Yeah, that. Just because he was, like, on top of me, basically. Um, yeah. Like, I... <sighs> Yeah, he definitely got kills, but it wasn't, I feel like my guys traded better. Like, I just was eating stuff alive, but it just kept coming. It's the same as when I played against Mamil with the, no, not Mamil, uh, Yaman with NOV. It's just like, it just keeps coming. And uh, I just, I guess I just don't do well against spam divisions like that. Um, so yeah, really disappointing. Really thought I should have won, won this one. Um... Should have played better. I mean, there's not much to not much to it. My issue with against these span divisions, they get this early lead, and maybe I should have just played Maverick. I mean, that's definitely possible. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I win. The problem is, I don't think I win the long game against his division because again, he can just keep calling stuff in at only twenty points a pop. Like I, I'm going to get overwhelmed eventually, just due to the cost of his units being so ridiculously dirt cheap. Um. 
But hey, yeah, it happens. I just wasn't able to stem the tide. It's disappointing, but it is what it is. If you guys enjoyed that, hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.